year one. It is Monday, it's week four of our home learning and we're going to begin with our phonics. So, we are on phase five and I was very impressed last week at how well you have been doing at remembering all of the sounds we've learned so far. I was very impressed with Fern who was doing super with the sounds without me. So well done Fern and I wonder who will get a special mention this week. So to begin, we're going to do the phase five sounds we've already learnt. I'm going to do them with you today, just to make sure you are saying them right, because some of you are getting a little bit confused and some of you are getting a little bit stuck on some of them. So we'll go through them together, remind ourselves after the weekend, and hopefully then for the rest of the week you can do them by yourself. Okay, off we go. Shouting them out. Ow. Oh. Or er, I E Oi Or A U What? You. Thumbs up, as always. So, so far we have learnt 13 sounds, which is really good, okay? And we did it today in 41 seconds. So give yourself a little challenge, now we've done it together. Go and log in to Phonics Play with that free login and have a go yourself and send me a little video so I can hear you and I can see how quick you do it. Well done. Moving on, before we go to our new learning, we're going to come back to the tricky words, okay? We've had a little break from tricky words, but we're going to go back to them and look at some new ones. Now I know before the lockdown, we did lots of practice on these, so you should know them, but I need to just hear you. I need to check that you've not forgotten. So I'm going to go through them with you today, then tomorrow I'm going to ask you to do them by yourself, so I know if we need to carry on or whether we can move forwards. Tricky words, do we sound them out? No, they are words that we see that we have to remember. We have to look at them, take a picture, remember what they say, okay? So that's what we need to practice. We're going to do all of the phase five tricky words. It's quite a lot, but we'll give it a go. There's 28, goodness. Okay? See if you can beat me. First word. Water. Please. Thought. Many. Should. Work. Friends. Mouse. Mrs. It's a bit of a tricky one, that is. Mrs. Cold. Where. There. Would. Once. We should see that word lots in our stories. Once upon a time. Once. Oh. Oh no. Oh. People. Different. Well done if you've got that. That's a very long word. Different. Laughed. I laughed out loud. Laughed. Looked. Again. Through. I looked through the window. Any. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Could. 
Oh, we know this one. We've spent lots of time at school on this word. What does it say? Because. Eyes. Well done, year one. 28 words we've just read together and we did it in two minutes and 10 seconds. So we haven't done those for a long time. So have a go today at the tricky word truck game and see what, how you can do. And if you want to write them down as well, you can, so I can see how you get on. Well done, lots of recapping there. So moving on now to our new learning. And if you can remember, on Friday I told you we were going to move on to something a little bit trickier. Okay? And we're going to be learning all about split digraphs. And they look a little bit like this. Okay? And a split digraph is a digraph that is split by a letter. So here we've got an A and an E, and there's a little line there because that is where the sound is split by another letter. And a digraph is a combination of two letters making one sound, okay? So let's look at some words with this sound in. What do you think it says? Well done, if you got it right, it makes the A sound, A. An A and an E make the A sound with a letter in the middle. Let's have a look. We're going to play bingo, but we're going to read through these words first all together, okay? So we've got the A sound, it's a split digraph, it's the A sound. Okay, off we go. Looking at the first word together. Sound it out. Mm. Then we join them up like this. A. K. Mm. A. K. Make. That's how we read the words with the split digraph. The sound is split with another letter. U. A. T. Late. Sh. A. K. Shake. U. A. K. Lake. Can you see how I'm joining them with the line? Okay. S. A. K. Snake. And at the bottom we've got one of our phase five sounds. W. A. U. Whale. Okay, we've got some more here. Can you read these ones? A cake. Mm, a t meat. T a k take. Sp a s space. Now this is a bit of a tricky word. Let me explain to you why. When we've got a split digraph with a k sound in the middle, it makes the s sound. So it's a little rule we have to remember. Because this word says space. Sp a s space. So the k sound turns into a s. Just a little rule that you need to try and remember. Space. Okay, two more, then we're going to play bingo. M I S T A K. M I S T A K. Mistake. And the last one. Pull a t plate. Okay, so now we're going to play our game. We've done some lovely reading. Now we're going to play bingo. And I've done the game a little bit different today. And I think it's going to be a little bit more fun. So, as always, you need your whiteboard. And you need your whiteboard pen. And you need to choose six words from the list below. Okay, so pause the video. Choose six words and write them on your whiteboard. You can play by yourself or you can play against somebody at home and I'd love to know who wins. So if you've got paper at home or if you've got another whiteboard, if you've got a brother or a sister in the school, they should have one so you can play against them. Choose different words from each other, so don't show them, try and choose different ones and then we're going to play bingo. Don't forget to shout bingo if you win and I want to hear lots of shouting on the videos that you send in. Right. Hopefully by now you've got your six words and I've made a PowerPoint for us today because 
then I don't know what words are going to come next, so it makes it a little bit more fun. Are you comfortable? Have you got your six words? Make sure they're spelt correctly with our split digraph. If your word comes up, cross it out or circle it. If you've got all six, what do you need to shout? Bingo. Okay, off we go. First word. M, A, K, make. Sp, A, S, space. Sh, A, K, shake. Word number four. K, A, K, cake. Rake, rake. Now, this is our sixth word. If you're lucky, you might be able to shout bingo. <gasps> Uh-ake, lake. Big word. Mm, ist, ache, mistake. Cross it off, give it a circle. If you've got it on your bingo board. Next word, pull a plate. Woo! Mm, eight, mate. Who's winning win your bingo game? You or your mate? Read this one for me. It is five sound. What a oh, whale. I've got a winner yet. Next word, t a k take. Sn a k snake. Well, by now, you should have all of your words circled or crossed off, and we should have lots of bingo winners. Take a picture of your bingo board and tell me if you won or not. Well done today, and I hope you enjoyed reading those words. And if they were a little bit tricky, don't worry, go back and read them again. Now, to finish, as always, we need to write some sentences. So, wipe your whiteboard clean. If you've got some lined paper at home, it might be best to use that because some children are struggling with their letters. So remember, some of our letters are tall, some of our letters are descendants and they go below the line, okay? So if you've got lined paper, please use that. If not, you can use your whiteboard. Draw some lines on them, okay? If you would like, you can send an email to school, to the year one email address, and we can leave some paper in the office for you to collect. Just ask us and we'll sort it out for you. So, I've chosen three words. Snake, snake, ache, and full ache. The lake, put a new one on there, and I'd like you to write me three sentences. I'd like you to write me a sentence about a snake, about a cake, and about a flake. Okay, capital letters, finger spaces, and full stops. Thinking carefully about your spelling. Okay, and I can't wait to see those sentences. Thinking about your beautiful handwriting. Okay, and I might give you a mention tomorrow if you blow me away. Have lots of fun with your phonics. Sound of the day is A. Okay, see you tomorrow.